well, what, what we face today in the world is an existential crisis with the climate. It's not that we're predicting climate change in the future, we're seeing climate change right now. I think it's a really important time to remember that this is something like many of the other fights we're fighting that can't wait. How as a university, what, are, what is our role, what is our responsibility, um, and what can we do in order to mitigate the effects of global climate change? The world I live in is going to be a different place, and that changed my perspective of my role as a citizen in this, in this world. The University of Michigan has stepped up to the plate in, in a sense in that we've decided to take an entire semester to look at the whole problem of climate, one week in particular. We as a campus and as a student body can use this week of climate events to catalyze a new organizing energy in Ann Arbor and at the University of Michigan. It's really important to, to gather in places like this, uh, events like this, so we can get together in an academic setting, um, also with those outside of academia to talk about what it looks like to form institutions actually capable of delivering climate justice. So the motivation at least for this event is to sort of go beyond that, not just have a bunch of scientific talks. We have arranged a series of activities that range from from poetry readings and art exhibits to scientific presentations to political analysis of what's going on. I really feel like the, the power of the integration of arts and sciences is oftentimes overlooked. The unity of art and science is essential to be able to provide a space for us to internalize and conceptualize what these, these, this crisis of climate change really means for us on a personal level. The whole week that we have planned is aimed at the general public. It's not really aimed at scientists at all. It's aimed at people who are, who are interested in the topic, who should be interested in the topic, who might, uh, might, be, might be encouraged to take some sort of action in their own communities or in their own workplaces or wherever, or their own churches or wherever they are. We have to get active and start going out there and doing something. Because we're trying to get people to become those leaders, to become those people to so go out in the street and inform people what is happening, but also give them the tools and resources so they can do something about it. So we're bringing some well-known speakers onto campus. We're bringing Sandra Steingraber, who's a, both a poet and an activist and an author. Uh, Steve Mulkey, former president of the Unity College. Bill McKibben will be giving the Wedgie Lecture. Michael Mann. Uh, so we have a whole series of events planned. It should be really very exciting and well, I'm very excited about it and I think everybody else should be also. To really forward an agenda that is uh, robust and strong on climate activism and climate justice and demanding that we create the better future that we want to see. So there's a place for everybody to be involved and it's only when, when everybody gets involved that we're going to have to be able to solve this crisis. Great art, poetry, and, and food, uh, maybe a party or two even. Uh, this is, this is going to be a cool event and I'll be there. I hope to really see you there too. This bicentennial brings us together and shows us that, hey, this is an issue that, that impacts everybody. Go push your senator, go push your mayor, go push whoever you need to push and remind them that you elected them, not them, and therefore you have the power. And, you know, this is a problem that needs to be solved. So people get up your seeds and go fight. <laughs>